Your hair still there, huh? Let's see your scalp. Okay. You did pretty good. YouTube, as you guys saw, Miller's hair did not fall out, but we got something new for you today. I'd like to welcome you guys to my desktop, show you a couple of things that we're working with on here, show you some Chrome apps and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, as first you can see, um, desktop icons we got over here. Um, for various purposes, get a couple of movies here uh, downloaded from Mega Upload. So I'm sure you guys are familiar with them, but go check them out if it's something you want to see. So, of course, we got the Adobe Reader and the Media Player, the usual things my computer, recycling bin, and here's the first app. I'm going to show you called Aries. It's a P2P file sharing program. So let's open that up. If we can, let's go down here to this. There we are. Now, like I said, this is a person-to-person -person file sharing program. Um, so, generally, I just go in and do a search for some media that I would like to download. Let's say audio. And let's do a search. Let's search for my favorite, Wu-Tang Clan. Just type that in and hit search and there you go you can open this up full screen and so you can see all of the tracks that you have for Wu-Tang Clan several uh, you see here here's a song The Gravel Pit good quality 14 users it gives you the genre the quality uh, the length and everything like that so if I wanted to download the gravel pit, right click, hit download, and now go to transfer and you can see that it's downloading. So pretty good file sharing program. Like it a lot. I get a lot of my music from here. So if you get a chance, check out Aries. A R E S. But we're going to close this up because I have this song on CD. So we're going right, to right click on it and cancel that download. There's some other things you can do with Aries as well. You can chat. Um, you can see here all the, it will give populate a list of chat rooms that you can go into and it's pretty neat but we'll save the rest of Aries for another day we'll just close that out alright next we have IE and Google Chrome so before we go into Chrome um, we'll go down here and show you that I use Windows Movie Maker so to do my videos. Uh, I'm sure you guys are familiar with Windows Movie Maker but you know uh, there are a lot of other nice programs out to do video recordings and editing and everything but uh, 
pretty fine with Movie Maker till this point, so nothing too special about it. All you do is now you have to make sure that your file is in uh, Windows Movie version, and you would just drag it into there. File is being imported now. I'm actually doing this video before, uh, of course, putting it on YouTube. So it will actually show you a process of this video being made. So we have this clip here, and you can click on it and preview it. So you can see that, and then when you want to put it in the timeline, just drag it there, and it's there. Now, if you wanted to add any titles or credits, you just go to titles and credits, of course. You can put things on the screen. You can put things before, after, change the color effects, um, the animation, and all of that good stuff. So... Um, not doing a Windows Movie Maker tutorial today just showing you guys what I have on my desktop so we'll close we'll close that no we do not want to save the changes so now see we have QuickTime Player here um, of course that's something that you need and here's a good one Another piece of editing software that I use. It's called FreeMake Video Converter. Uh, and then when it opens up, I'll show you it converts to any format that you would like to use. Uh, very efficient. This is version 2.1.5. There is a new version available for download. I have not downloaded it yet. But I will soon. So we just wait for this to open up. So it's starting the video up now. Of course, you can choose to play. These are your options for cutting the video. You can transform it, of course. So, you know, if you take a video and you record it upside down or anything that happens, of course, you can go here and transform it cut parts out that you don't need and etc so this is a another thing that I usually use also for video making so and there's a lot else you can do with it but so let's get to what I like the most and that is Google Chrome Let me take a look inside Chrome Again, computer taking a sweet time, but we'll be patient. And here's Chrome. Show you guys what apps I have for Chrome and. bookmark some extensions okay so it's all loaded up and you can see right here the apps that I have now I guess the first thing you notice is that Android theme in the background y'all know I had to do it but of course here we have Gmail quick launcher gotta have YouTube the Twitter launcher Google Plus, TweetDeck, Facebook, you have the web store here, Angry Birds, USA Today for the news, we have Flickr, ah, the Android market, so you can check some apps out online that you may want to download for your Android device, we have Yahoo, Google Maps, and eBay, because of course, we like to shop. So, show you these extensions here Google Voice, 
right here for quick texting. Um, if you have a Gmail account, uh, Google Voice is probably a good thing to have. So, you see, I don't know if you can see my number there, but it really doesn't matter. Um, so, go in the text quick, put the number in, hit the message, and hit send. And you do get notifications with that automatically, so that's that's great. Right here we have the MLB scoreboard. I gotta stay up to date with that. From MLB.com, so you can see all the scores from the games. Um, you can watch live broadcasts, and so that's a must for me. Uh, right here, the AccuWeather forecast. 15 day forecast for Greensboro where I live so you can see that still warm so and also I have Hulu here for watching some TV shows online so let's go into let's launch Twitter for a second there's just a quick Twitter launcher um, power Twitter uh, you don't have to sign in every time of course um, power twitter is automatically loaded up so right here you can see my timeline and all of that good stuff so let's do a quick tweet let's say doing oops can't spell today. Doing a U to video. And we'll tweet that. There it is. So I've already given you guys the tour of uh, Power Twitter. So we'll we'll close that. We'll open up a new page. We'll close that out go back here now um, of course at this point you should be well versed in YouTube if you're watching this video we got tweet deck which I'll hit in the later video Facebook is coming but for the most part these are quick launchers um, of course you saw the Google Plus go here and take a look at the Android market something that's very useful faster easier way to search for Android apps that you can download to your Android device so just taking a look at the market featured apps um, trending apps everything best selling games so if you guys are not familiar with looking at the market online and full HTML here it is so you can see your top free apps over here the top paid apps beautiful widget fruit ninja ROM manager all of that good stuff we got the tablet apps in the background right here so if you get a chance you're using Chrome go to the Chrome store and search for the Android market very useful um, of course I probably should show you uh, the web store this is a very important thing to have or to take a look at show you an example if you wanted to actually find the market let's just put in Android so there you go you get the results for Android and apps and in extensions so you see here this is a Google Chrome extension Google Chrome to phone extension um, file sharing for Chrome to your phone so that's that's awesome right there and here is the Android market that we were just in so very useful there um, that's pretty much it you can go here and look at your most visited 
sites. Close that. Recently closed. And I also wanted to show you guys. Uh, what did I want to show you, huh? Yeah, these bookmarks here, of course. Ustream. That's banking and things like that. Um, so, Chrome is very useful. Very, very useful. So, that's a look at Chrome. Quick look at that. We'll close Chrome. Come back to the desktop. And that is pretty much it, guys. So, this has been a tour of my desktop. Just a couple of apps, programs that we have running on this PC. So, do me a favor. Thumbs the video up. Comment. Like. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that button, alright? It's red at. Till next time, y'all. Have a good one. Uh,